All right, so it's about time for another About the Painting. Um, but before we get into that, a couple quick updates. My camera is currently moved to the basement, which was quite the feat. Uh, my brother and I uh, had to try to carry that down some stairs, and that was rough. Uh, but most of that problem was the base. It's sitting on this cast iron metal base with um, galvanized steel tubing uh, that is going away. It was nine feet long and it was like probably 90% of the weight. Um, so for the two of us to move that down a steep incline was rough. But uh, I've started piecing together all of the parts to make a new base for it. I've already got casters for it that will kick away when I don't want it to move and it'll sit onto some, um, to some leveling feet. Um, and then the whole thing is going to raise and lower using a, um, what do you call it? A trailer jack. Uh, that would sit on like the tongue of, uh, of a big, big hand. So it'll be a really great way of uh, being able to, to better utilize my, my new camera. So once that is part is completed, all I have to do is start assembling all of the chemistry and assembling a dark room, which I've put a lot of thought into. And then I'm going to be uh, making a portable dark room so that uh, if I ever decide to get like a small 8x10 or a 4x5, then I can take it elsewhere and, um, you know, maybe do, maybe do some commission gigs outside of the house uh, if things ever go back to normal. And, uh, and you know, if there's ever like a break for like Christmas or something where I'm not going to be using it for a while, I can always just uh, disassemble it. The last thing to talk about uh, is uh, that I'm currently in a show at Gallery Victor called Life Still. Um, it is it is up physically in the gallery as well as being online on Artsy. Uh, so make sure to go check out the show on Artsy or make an appointment if you're in the Chicago area to go in and check that out. I have three paintings up right now, two of which I've already done previous videos on. Um, and then the last one is the one I'm going to talk about today. Uh, another cool thing is that the show was advertised in American Art Collector. One of my pieces was in that advertisement. And so that was my first time having anything in American Art Collector, which I'm super excited about. I actually uh, actually ordered that issue just so that I could have a copy of like the real thing. In that show is my painting, The King Beetle, uh, which you can still see right here, the, uh, the actual beetle and a bit of the wallpaper that I used in that piece. Uh, I kept that and shadow boxed it to hang in the studio. Uh, my painting, The Misunderstanding, which is the glass decanter piece, which I had done in my previous video. Um, and then the my painting, Memento Vivire. All three of these paintings I'm really proud of. Uh, they all were challenges in their own right that in the King Beetle I was utilizing techniques uh, with airbrush that I had never tried before and I think were rather successful. In the misunderstanding I was trying to uh, paint really complex uh, light refraction uh, and all of the color that was involved in that and the level of detail to make it uh, read the way that I wanted to was quite challenging. Um, and then this piece also had 
a lot more fabric work involved. Uh, so it took everything that I learned from painting the pomegranates uh, and painting skulls and then incorporating more fabric and embroidery texture. So this piece was the third of a photo shoot, uh, was the third image used from a photo shoot where I was taking different elements and rearranging them to come up with new compositions and exploring their relationships. So the first piece that came from that was Vanitas 2, where we're looking at the vanity of our existence um, that everything is going, that we're all going to die at some point anyway. Uh, the pomegranates piece was looking at the symbolism of community, of all of the seeds together in, in the pomegranate, and the Khalil Gibran uh, piece about removing yourself from negativity. And then this piece, Memento Vivire, is literally remember to live. So it is looking at the fruit in a more sensual nature of the more nutritional, like life-giving nature uh, of the seeds and uh, the nutrition and, you know, all the sexiness of fruit, as well as remembering in hindsight, you know, in the back of your mind that that life is short it was an interesting exercise for me to be able to take these objects and just to keep reorganizing and see what new compositions i can i can get out of it and how they can relate and help create uh different moods and different uh different meaning uh to me and to the viewer but like i said this painting my painting, uh, The King Beetle, and my painting, The Misunderstanding, are all up right now at Gallery Victor in the show Life Still. It is available uh, for purchase on Artsy. Uh, it is available for purchase through Gallery Victor as well. So if you want to see it in person, you can get in contact with the gallery and set up an appointment to come visit, or they can send you additional pictures or you can see it on artsy.net. They have a virtual showroom on there for the show that gives a little background information about the work and you can see everybody else's work too. It's a really great show all about contemporary interpretations of still life um, in the, you know, in the midst of pandemic. I had to go get the list. I didn't want to forget somebody. Um, so Mark Bowers, Andrew S. Conklin, Matthew Cook, this guy, uh, Rose Framuth Frazier, Christina Haglid, Georgia Hineris, Peter Lupkin, Helen O, Carol Pliant, uh, Pilant, sorry, and uh, Bruno Cerdo are all on the show. It's really great. Make sure to go check it out. I'll have the link in the description. But I think that's about it. Um, I, I clearly have some other things to talk about in the future. Uh, this is a commission piece that I'm working on here. Um, I also have another skull piece that I'm working on right now too. Um, so look for that stuff in the future. I'm not going to make any promises of when. <laughs> uh, make sure to check out that show. The, the link will be in the description below. And that's about it for now. See ya.